Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Jenkins Governance Meeting. Today is uh, January 27th, 2021. So we have a few topics in our agenda. Let me share the screen. Do you see it? Yes. OK. So yeah, we have news. Uh, so um, uh, two releases, actually. Uh, we had dot two release also after this uh, the previous meeting, right? Uh, so yeah, we released. Uh, yep, yeah, you're right. So it was uh, accurately on the uh, day of the meeting. So yeah, would you like uh, to talk about uh, the releases? Yeah. So we were resolving some regressions that had inadvertently been introduced in two dot two thirty two sixty three dot two. Uh, dot three resolves those. Uh, I see some feedback there that looks like noise, but there's one report there that I've got to investigate on the, yeah, that one. So mm -hmm. haven't looked at that yet. I'm not correct to in macro, no. Oh, uh, not triggering jobs of pipelines. I've seen it, uh, but yeah. Yeah, so, so mm -hmm. it needs some further investigation. Yeah, so it might be related with, uh, to the changes, but no, no. Okay. And uh, for uh, week that we also had uh, the, the new release with additional patches. So please upgrade to the latest version. And here we right. have four regressions, but all of them uh, are reported uh, to the token macro plugin. And uh, yeah, this uh, was actually fixed uh, long ago. So I didn't quite get uh, what happened. Oh, so the, the issue there was somebody failed to upgrade a, a plugin and, okay, interesting. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, yeah, these uh, reports are not relevant. Got it. Anyway, it was relatively small uh, release with a few bug fixes. But, yeah, thanks to all contributors, as always. Okay. So, any other news? Uh, oh, LTS baseline, release baseline selection. Uh, we'll start the discussions today. I'll send an email today proposing that. I chatted with Tim Jacom in private email about it. He's okay with me sending the email to start the discussion. Yeah. So I guess it will be 77, right? Right. The, that 277 seems like the logical choice. It has several important fixes in it and is the best in the tables to divs evolution that we've got. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great, thank you. So on the other news, uh, yeah, we have FOSDOM starting in uh, just one week. And at FOSDOM we have a developer stand and uh, we have CICD room. So everyone is welcome to join. And at least he's looking for more participants. I think Olivier uh, invited me to a Jenkins stand room last night mm -hmm. on Matrix. Mm -hmm. So Oleg, we still mm -hmm. have two more slots that we we need help with um, for the stand, and that's um, let me take a look at the specific timing for that. So for Saturday, it's from three to six p.m., and then Sunday, three to five p.m. That's where mm -hmm. we need help. What time zone Staffing. is that? UTC. Oh, okay. UTC. Okay. So, yeah, I'll try to join if possible. Um, and if not, uh, we can just uh, call for more contributors. Yeah, that's a little early for me. Yeah, and the Sunday 3 to 6, or Saturday 3 to 6, uh, Alyssa, I'm available if needed. I'll be covering the one to three 
already, but if, I, if we don't get anybody else, I'm happy to cover Saturday. I'm not available for the Sunday. Got it. Um, so um, uh, I'm already in for a Sunday in the morning, but yeah. I don't have any other things on Sunday. So maybe if nobody else is coming, I can take the uh, afternoon session as well. Mm. OK. Thank you, Lily. Um, I'll let you know. Um, I'll give it an, until this Friday. Um, but I'll, I'll reach out and confirm to, with you both whether that um, I, and we're going to save those two slots for you both. That's OK. Super. And the worst case, uh, we may have two people there, which is definitely not the worst case. So. Anything else about for them? Not for me. Uh, yeah, also. What exactly are the plans for this room? So, should we prepare something or? Yeah. So, so Uli, good question. We've got Olivier Bernin has outlined that the stand has a website that we can use to place some content on. He recommends that we have an agenda so that we can invite participants for specific topics. And, and so during your session, for instance, it might be a great excuse if you'd be willing to talk about warnings and how to use, I just had a request today on, hey, how do we use static analysis and how do we present results? And if you would be willing to demonstrate that during your time, we could put that on the agenda during my time, I proposed, hey, I'm gonna talk about the Git plugin, things that I already know and we can, we can discuss the idea was that way they have agenda items there. People know, oh, go there to talk to so and so, this person about this specific topic. And Alyssa, I think you're capturing those topics in the outline document, if I remember right. Yes. Yeah, um, and I put a link in the chat window as well. Mm -hmm. So if you scroll down, um, oh, like we have, let's see, we have three, I think three demos lined up and um, I'll get those on, on the, the conference website soon. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I may, Alyssa, you remind me, I may ask Ivan Fernandez, he's got a technique that I also use that I want to beg him to come and he and I will have a conversation back and forth about it. This is for the demo, Mark? Uh, maybe, yeah, it's it's using, using Jenkins Pipeline to test Jenkins Pipeline. Okay. I won't put it here. But yeah, yeah I'll, I'll discuss it. And I'll, I'll, if I get Yvonne, I could do it myself, but I would love to have Yvonne there because I've seen evidence he's using the same technique. No, currently we have it in the Jenkins Pipeline library. So it's easy to demonstrate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So anything else about for them? Then we have CDCon. Tracy, would you like to summarize it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, so CDCon, um, we're pretty much getting all set for that. So it's June 23rd and 24th, virtually for those days, um, kind of pegged on Eastern time, but we might start some sessions a bit earlier to accommodate folks in Europe. And the main thing to know right now is that the um, call for papers is open. So we're looking for um, good talks um, and particularly Jenkins talks. Um, I was going to come along to the advocacy and outreach SIG tomorrow, uh, maybe to get into more details about uh, like how we can ensure we've got some good Jenkins content, maybe see if there's folks from the community who want to be involved in, in picking those talks, shaping a birds of a feather session, 
Um, and then we've got some other options as well if there's interest from the community to go beyond the normal CDCon and do something like a contributor summit. Um, and I bring that up because uh, we're working with the Spinnaker community and, and they're going to be doing a kind of Spinnaker summit colo with CDCon. So um, yeah, for now, I just encourage folks to register, submit talks, and then maybe tomorrow's advocacy and outreach meeting is a good place to get into some deeper discussions about Jenkins' presence at there. How can we make sure we're working with you to engage the community, um, having the Jenkins community select the talks uh, and things like that. Mm -hmm. but, okay. Yeah, let me know if any questions or thoughts and happy to just get into a, little, mm -hmm. a bit now if you wish. Yeah. So call for papers is open for until the end of February, right? Um, I think a little longer than that. March 5th. So yeah. And we have an early bird deadline. So we'll be like promoting maybe five talks from the program um, mm -hmm. just to encourage folks. So um, if you are fond of leaving it to the last minute, um, I think it's worth trying to go for the early bird deadline just in case it gives mm -hmm. um, extra chance to have your talk highlighted. Okay. Thank you. Okay, any other news updates? No. Okay, so contributor summit. Thanks to Mark uh, for driving it to this year. Yes, yeah, so the, the concept with the Contributor Summit is has to be different this year. We've we've loved meeting together face to face at FOSDOM. Mm -hmm. It works very, very well for people to be face to face, to talk about things, to scribble on whiteboards, to get ideas. Uh, we just can't do it with COVID-19. So we proposed a different scenario here where we start with an intro meeting, 90 minutes, introduces topics summaries from the various SIGs and uh, projects, then break into a series of tracks decided during that initial session for specific focus that those tracks will decide when they meet and how they meet. Um, and we recommend Zoom that they meet when and how it works best for them over the course of the next two days. Then on day three, we do a closing summit. Uh, so this is the, the, the concept and the idea. What I'm doing now is actively recruiting people to first attend, take mm -hmm. specific roles or assignments in it, and sort of topics and themes. I'm starting to see if there are themes that are naturally flowing out of it. You're welcome to suggest. The document is open for suggestion. Would love to hear ideas. If you're concerned or got objections, also those would be fine to express also. And just for the last contributor summit, there, there were some really good topics and it would be great to be able to have those follow-ups of one year later, where, where does everything stand? What progressed, what didn't? That's, that's a good thing for the intro. I hadn't thought of that for the, the agenda, Tracy. Very good, I'll put that in, thank you. That's one, also 2021 planning. So basically what we discussed in the previous uh, meeting uh, to just uh, uh, summarize what would be our main items on the roadmap. So I've never actually made it to one of the contributor summits. Um, so when you pitch the idea of doing it, you know, the, the concept or sorry, pitch the idea of and the suggestions of people to do them. No, that's backwards. Uh, the suggest the topics that people might want to do is what you were talking about. I actually really like the idea of doing the communication channel. I just don't know what that means. And I don't know if anyone, like, I don't know if you can, if you have a better way of uh, explaining that so that we can get more people to do them because there's probably a lot of people like me that are like, oh, I've never been, how do I get involved? Good, good point. And so Gavin, if it's okay, let me take that up with you. 
I'll try to outline it in the, in the document here, frame in what I think is a rough agenda. And then I may ask for some of your time one-on-one -on -one to help yep. me refine it better so that you as my first test can tell me, Mark, that didn't help me at all. I need this other information. I know I could be dropped in last second and be fine because I'm one of those people that can do that. But I suspect there's a lot of people that are not like me. So I'm totally happy to be your guinea pig and provide feedback where I can. Perfect. So I will I will engage with you for that because that I wasn't sure that the communication channels topic would be selected, but I thought you were a great candidate for it. I would love you as my test drive, even if we ultimately don't do that topic. You're a great test drive to see that I get the right instructions. We'll do that. Sounds good. And once you settle on dates, feel free to let us know at CDF how we can help promote it and just make sure folks um, see it and join in. Yeah, I have not seen any objections to my first preference. So I think I'm within a few days of declaring that February 23 through 25 are the dates. That's, that's great. So, oh, so you say first in the list, not first chronologically. Right, exactly. First in the list is my preference. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes sense. It also gives more time to prepare. Mm -hmm. Right. And and really, that's I think oh, like that was the general concept is there and specific ideas for topics. There's a documentation track that I've inserted that the documentation SIG is actively working to prepare, and mm -hmm. I think there's a a concept that I'm not sure how to express it yet, which is. Securing the, deliver, securing the delivery pipeline, if you will, which is sort of a combination of security and infrastructure and release. And mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm still trying to work that up in my mind. I'm open to others having ideas about how we might talk about that and how we might plan it. Yeah, so there is a email uh, thread about that, uh, but it's mostly about the uh, delivery pipeline for Jenkins. Right. Mm -hmm. To help with this framing kit. Right. And then, then there is a, I drafted a security track that for me wasn't so much about pipeline as about general security topics. And, and I think securing the pipeline is probably going to get more interest and more attention. And we may set aside the notion I had of a security track. And those, those are all fine. That's why this agenda is there as a rough draft and we'll, we'll continue to refine it. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's really all that I had on the topic for Contributor Summit. That's great. So what are you planning to do it mostly? Like what platform are you using as a Zoom? Are you going to experiment with anything new? We'll, we'll just, at least my assumption is that the, the opening and the closing will be Zoom sessions. And I'm assuming most of the sessions during will also be Zoom. You know, most of the tracks will be Zoom. For instance, I'll probably put the documentation track on my personal Zoom account just to make, make it easy for me to administer. Mm -hmm. And the, the opening and the closing will definitely use the, the Jenkins, the CD Foundation Zoom account. Okay. Now, one of the, I guess one of the other observations was that the results of this may be a good topic to do or a good series of topics for Jenkins online meetups to summarize what comes out from this. I'm not sure we would make the concluding session and online meetup as much, but some of the, the other things probably are great topics for an online meetup as we're making progress on them. Yeah. And generally, it's fine to post it there because it's an online event. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So anything else about the, the contributor summit? Again, thanks uh, to Mark for organizing it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the last topic we had in the list is 2021 planning. So basically follow up uh, to the topic we had at the previous meeting where we discussed a few items. So what we had there is um, the contributor onboarding, Jenkins security, which became a part of the, um, the contributor summit. And then we have uh, seats, uh, communication channels, and terminology cleanup. 
So this is what we discussed as priorities. So I wonder whether uh, we see any other priorities we would like to facilitate and to highlight in the plan. Mm -hmm. For me, I didn't, I thought the, the list we assembled from last meeting was, all, was sufficient. I haven't found any additional ones. The consolidate communication channels actually fits nicely with the topic that I put for Gavin on, on, on a possible meet or possible contributor summit topic. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, personally, I also don't have um, many topics uh, to add. Just want to say thanks to everyone who contributes and who uh, finds uh, some time to drive uh, the community events. So thanks all. Yeah, one thing I was just going to add, I, I see the point about working closely with CDF. Um, I think to maybe just try and facilitate that um, as we're also kind of doing our planning for the year at the moment is maybe at the next board meeting, we'll, we'll have a, a survey, um, which we'd love to farm out to, to maintainers and contributors and just hear individuals feedback on um, yeah, what programs of CDF are useful, what people are aware of and what other things um, like Jenkins folks would like to see from CDF. So yeah, maybe at the next governance meeting, we'll, we'll bring that along and provide a link and ask that you share it with the community or certainly mm -hmm. feedback from the governing board so we can um, plan accordingly. Mm -hmm. That's uh, definitely a good thing. And maybe one uh, question, yeah, mostly related to advocacy and outreach. Mm -hmm. is uh, what is the plan for events for the next year because we still have a few topics hanging for example meetup.com and uh, other things yeah so uh, are there any uh, plans uh, regarding that um they are rough ideas that have not been like i don't know when we'll prioritize them but I think the general sentiment is um, for existing meetups, which are happy and kind of active, then they can keep using meetup.com. Any meetups that are dormant, uh, we will at some point want to get those kind of cleaned up. Mm -hmm. uh, for new events, uh, we're likely to, to kind of follow CNCF's lead and switch to Bevy as a platform. Um, so we'll be encouraging anyone who wants to adopt it. The folks who are using it says there's a bit of a, like it's a, there's a bit of a step to, to transfer meetups. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that will be optional, but um, folks who want to start new meetups or kind of meetups focused on a slightly different angle, um, it's, it's pretty good. And I hear it's got some really nice features, um, just for community building and bringing folks together that, um, mm -hmm. are good for this new virtual world. But yeah, having said that, we mm -hmm. don't really have a clear picture of when our timing will be around that. There's a bit of focus now, just getting all the CDCon planning done. Once that's in a good, good state, I think we can afford to focus on, on the meetups. Let me drop you a link to, I think it's B-E-V-Y. Oh. I, I interviewed there early in the year. Oh, yeah? B-E-V-I. Yeah? B-E-V-Y. -E -E Sorry, I'm saying the wrong. Yeah. So Victor. Uh, and then I'll, I don't know what the uh, phonetic for Y is. Uh, Yahoo? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yankee. Yankee, that's the right one. Yeah. So it's not a part of the Linux Foundation ecosystem, right? No. Um, so, oh, actually, that reminds me. Um, the 
LFX, I don't know if folks have seen that, and that's probably a conversation we should have with the Jenkins Governing Board. Um, so Linux Foundation has this set of tools that, and some of those are you know, company tools and some of those are project tools. They are, I think, launching it uh, imminently, like relaunching it, even though the tools have been around for a while. But we'd love to have a conversation about like Jenkins on these tools. And you will see as part of that suite, um, there's the insights, which, you know, Jenkins already has a page, but we need to kind of sync with you um, to work out if that's useful or if there's stuff you'd like to see there. And then there's a link to community events and under the hood, that's just going to be Bevy. Um, mm -hmm. So kind of, yeah. yeah. That's why I was asking because, uh, yeah, but if it would be a Linux Foundation tool. Okay, yeah, if it's so. Bevy, it's fine. The, the, I think it's got a, you can whitelist mm -hmm. it, so. Um, but yeah, I think this is something down the road. I haven't really dived into it too much. So that's um, like at the moment I could funnel any requests straight through to the mm -hmm. team. Um, but I think there's going to be lots of powerful things there for uh, communities to take advantage of. So if anybody does want mm -hmm. to start looking around and playing with stuff, um, we love to kind of work with you to map out which which bits you care about which bits we should make more useful and and mm -hmm. kind of get that feedback to the the product team working yeah. on it so i'm i'm definitely interested tracy both in the insights because i still i continue to use their their metrics to decide how we're doing and i'm very interested in the security thing so so sneak looks very interesting yeah. and so Sneak, uh, you also discussed uh, the last meeting when we were talking about security. So it's definitely something we could include in our pipelines, especially since, yeah, they scan us anyway. And uh, yeah, taking the numbers, I have something to say, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I think definitely we've had lots of communities feedback about the way the security stuff is presented. So it would be good. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, at some yeah. point uh, we submitted the request, uh, security scans were removed, but then uh, they came back. Uh, oh, okay. And, yeah. Interesting. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but yes, yeah, Sneak in general is definitely useful for us. Um, and uh, yeah, we can uh, make it a part of our pipelines. Uh, yeah, also for us, uh, easy CLA is uh, useful because our current CLA process is, uh, well, Firstly, it's, uh, it's still uh, reliant on the SPI. Secondly, it's uh, semi-broken and hard to manage. Uh, so uh, we would definitely could adopt that mentorship, crowdfunding, we already do it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, what else? And... They were on models before. Maybe so they are somewhere under tabs. We're already registered with their crowdfunding solution, right? That's the... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah, so crowdfunding is basically what you get if you go to Jenkins, so you donate. Yeah, that's the work I did last year too. Mm -hmm. Oh, you like still go over. to week, yeah. I hope it redirects, so like, oh, if it... Uh, no, it's not a... Uh, yeah, I thought we fixed that, but yeah, it looks like not. So yeah, basically, you can, it still refers it as community breach, but yeah, generally it's uh, LFX uh, crowdfunding now. Great, okay. So you can see that we have some money actually in the coffers. So just in case we need the Schwag or other things. Um, I asked a little bit about this last support. time, but is there APIs for this? Can we make this public on any of this data public on the website? Yes, actually um, they should be because we're also looking to redo the CD Foundation website, and I have been led to believe we can kind of pull stuff from LFX uh, mm -hmm. and particularly the insights. So, uh, oh, sorry, if, I was specifically talking about crowdfunding, but the crowdfunding, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. if, if you want, you can shoot me an email and I can okay. try to find out mm -hmm. um, any, let me know the specifics of what you want to pull out, and we can feed that into the folks. Mm 
Mm-hmm. As you can see, the projects are doing quite good today, especially uh, ones uh, which come with the missions. So we do not run, promote it heavily because we still have no uh, straightforward uh, plan of using the donations. Uh, but yeah, we could do that. Yeah, you can see that a lot of donations uh, come from uh, small contributors, which is good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else for today? Uh, okay, I have actually three small little topics I was thinking about as we went through. Mm -hmm. um, there's a kind of doctor. This one's uh, so there's a thread this week about on the dev mail list about um, people doing one off releases of plugins that are unmaintained. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think we should probably get a formal policy involved with that. Um, yeah. So we had a discussion about that at the last uh, contributor summit. The, the idea was uh, to have a kind of file. Uh, Call somebody call to them Jenkins Angels or whatever, but actually just people who can uh, um, uh, release a plugin uh, with some uh, public track, uh, but uh, without being maintainers. Uh, so I guess it's something which falls into this category, uh, finding uh, a way to release a maintained plugin. Mm -hmm. So there was one where the, the, I think it was the GitHub pull request builder this week. Mm -hmm. um, specifically, like I'm, I was against it. Uh, and I, I mean, I documented it, but I was against it and other people were for it. Uh, if the plan is to allow it, I think it just needs to be communicated in a, in a normal, mm -hmm. in a like formalized way. This, the discussion, the, the, should I do it? Shouldn't I do it type thing is kind of weird. Yeah, mm, so basically we have no policy which would allow anyone uh, to release a plugin without becoming a maintainer. Uh, but yeah, historically it has been a big problem because every time we, we end up with actually taking ownership uh, to do a release. So if we change the policy, it would be helpful. Yeah. I'm there's, there's definitely good and bad on both sides of the argument, uh, but I do think we do need a formal mm -hmm. um, policy for this. Um, and then the other, well, no, that one I'll do with the docs. Uh, I guess the, the other things is, was, um, yeah, I don't think it's a government's issue, but because I we did the, the video this, I just got another Twitter alert, that's what reminded me. Uh, did the video last week with Cloudbeas TV? Do we want to start making sure that uh, any of the, that kind of marketing is is live on our blog, even though it's done by another company? And then, do we want to make sure that our blog gets uh, auto? I talked to, again; it's probably an advocacy thing, but I talked about earlier uh, getting like RSS feeds into the various channels or into the Twitter thing, so that we make sure that we're making noise wherever possible. Because I saw again on the threads about Jenkins 3.0, we're having a marketing issue. We don't make enough noise about Jenkins. And I don't I don't feel that's true. I think we make a lot of noise, but I can see the point of view where we're not doing it. So do we want to make more noise? Social media isn't uh, very active at the moment. No. So yeah, I was uh, pushing it for a while. Then yeah, it switched to slightly different tasks and uh, no time. Um, um, but yeah, I think that it would be really important. So at a minimum, and this is, again, this might be a different SIG, I'm going to try to set up a bot that takes the RSS feed from Jenkins IO and put that into the Jenkins Gitter channel. Mm -hmm. So at least that way it gets a little bit more eyes. Do we want to do the same with the Twitter as well? Every time a new Twitter post goes up, we put that in that thing? We had that. It wasn't uh, very efficient. Uh, but it's definitely more efficient than uh, no post at all. Yeah. Uh, so we basically had the old automation which Tyler uh, implemented uh, 
it was dormant for a while. It uh, got recovered in 2019 uh, for a while. Uh, but uh, the rest of uh, tweets were handcrafted. Uh, yeah, if you so replace all of that uh, by automation, yeah, why not? I'm not talking about automating adding tweets. I'm, adding, I'm not, uh, talking about automating uh, sharing them with the other channels. Yeah. Okay. So I'll do that. I mean, if everyone complains, we'll shut it off. It's easy to do. So. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, and then at the top of the, the, the document you had open, you talked, there's a link to the Jenkins uh, meetings IRC channel. Is all that data on the top still true? Mm, you mean which one? That document, the very top. You have uh, uh, links to the document The yeah, because I noticed this page is. Oh, oh right, we, have, we haven't updated it here. There's, there's a bunch of small things. Like if you, uh, if you later, I'll, I'll, I'll make a PR for it. Okay. Actually, this wasn't even the page you're looking at, but if you go to the actual document you had open, the actual mm -hmm. Google Docs, yeah. right there, it says links to this document and then direct IRC web chat. I assume we're not using that anymore because no one's in the Jenkins meeting free node. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. So I'll make a PR that uh, updates some of the links mm -hmm. because I was trying to find this document earlier and it was struggling, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. I'm good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other topics? If not, uh, thanks everyone. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Oleg. Okay. Yeah. So next Bye, meeting everybody. is as usual, right? Uh, uh, oh, 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 yes. Oh, oh, yes. Sorry. One topic. Next meeting time is two hours later. Mm -hmm. My apologies. I goofed. I am sorry that I made that mistake. I will correct it on the Jenkins calendar immediately after this meeting ends. So Mark, that will be our new meeting time going forward or? Correct. Okay. The new meeting time as agreed is two hours later than this time. Mm -hmm. Got it. And sorry, I didn't correct it already. Okay. But yeah, thanks for doing the poll. Mm -hmm. Um, All right. So thanks, Gavin. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.